Hi guys, Ray Newlands again here uh, with your 10 part course on how to get your mental side of your goalkeeping right. Uh, again, sorry to say this for the ones who've been watching this, if this is the first time you've come into this uh, video, if, if, you've, if you've only just got part 7 because somebody's emailed it to you, which is great, uh, please email me here at the bottom uh, and I will show you how you can get the other part of this course completely free of charge. Okay, uh, what it's all about is getting the metal side of your goalkeeping right, guys. If you want to play the highest levels possible of goalkeeping, guys, if you don't become mentally strong as a goalkeeper, forget it. You've got no chance, okay? So this is what this 10-part course is all about. Other organisations are, are doing something similar, not as in-depth as this, and they're charging in excess of £100, guys. I'm doing this completely free of charge, okay? So two things, okay? One, make sure you practice what I'm saying. Don't just watch and expect to... To develop it you've got to practice secondly please do the decent thing and pass it or email it to other goalkeeping friends of yours ideally even managers okay because managers don't understand the position of goalkeeper most of them don't so this will help them understand you as a goalkeeper uh, what was it so they probably get off your back a bit more <laughs> managers you better add so please do the decent thing and send this to goalkeepers guys okay remember keepers union we stick together we help each other so please send this to your friends very quickly about me, Ray Newland, founder just for keepers. Uh, I was a professional for 10 years. Uh, I was lucky enough to be taught by five internationals. That taught me most of the skills that I've got today. And as a result, I went in, started just for keepers, which is now the biggest goalkeeping schools in the world, uh, within 13 countries, and it's been going 11 years. Uh, I've helped over 250 lads become professional goalkeepers, and the majority of them guys who become pro got this right, okay? So it, trust me, it does work, okay? Right, part seven of this course, okay, what, what it's talking about, guys, it's make sure, don't be afraid to blame, okay, yeah, to your, your defenders, and don't be take everything on your shoulders as well. What I mean by that, most goalkeepers are strong characters, yeah, and what happens when a mistake goes in, even if you're not sure it's your fault or not, most goalkeepers will go, yeah, guys, sorry, it was my fault, and your defenders will go, pass the book, yeah, it was his fault, and then people on the line, with the greatest respect, they've not got a clue about goalkeeping, they'll go, yeah, it's the goalkeeper's fault, okay? And then what happens then, people get on your back, you lose a bit of your confidence, and you, you know, you can start playing bad guys, yeah? So don't be afraid to blame guys, okay, yeah? And again, you, do, and you don't have to be nasty with it, to be honest with you. I mean, what I would do, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, when I used to play professionally, uh, you know, we just had to slaughter them, you know, because if you didn't point the finger first, there'd be four pointing, to, to, to yourself. So as a goalkeeper, as you get to semi-professional and professional levels, guys, you have got to have a nasty streak in you. If you've not got that nasty streak in you, guys, you know what was it? It's going to be tough, you know. So I'm not saying you know, you know, if it's your fault, hold your hands up, yeah. Because as I say, you know, you, you need to have a strong character. Go, yeah, okay. So what was my fault? Yeah, it won't happen again. You know what was it? But if it's not your fault, you know what was it? Um, sorry, if it's not your fault. Uh, if you made a mistake uh, and you start saying, it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault, well, you lose a lot of credibility, to be honest with you guys, doing that. So if it was your fault, hold your hands up. If it wasn't your fault, don't hold your hands up, guys. As I say, semi-professional and professional, they say, what are you doing? I told you to, you know, bloody, you know, clear it. Or, I said away, you know, you've got to tell them first because if you don't tell them first and the defenders point to you, most people are like sheep, so the people on the line will go, well, look, the keeper's kept his mouth shut there, they're all pointing at the keeper. Okay, well, well, it must be the keeper's fault, even though it's not your fault. So you've got to learn to stand up for yourself, guys, okay? So this course is about stand, part seven is about standing up for yourself. As, obviously, as, as you, you know, um, if you're younger, it's very difficult, you know, you don't want to be pointing fingers and that, because obviously you could get into fights, etc. So what we do, do it in an indirect way, guys, okay? So for argument's sake, what I teach my students, for argument's sake, if you shout, away you know to a defender and he tries to be clever lets the ball bounce in the box a forward comes in and scores you know rather than go what are you doing your crap what you just shout is ad lines dave listen i know I shouted away but look don't worry about it mate you know what was it uh, these things happen get your head up okay yeah what was it so what the, the lines hearing okay yeah you're not having a go at it in a way you are <laughs> okay but what you're saying is you know mums and dads or the managers on the line will, will say well actually yeah the keeper did shout away so it was the defender's fault, you know, but you're not going to choose your defender off, you know, what was it, you know, by like screaming and shouting at him, you know, because he's going to hear you say, I did shout away, okay, hey, look, don't worry about it, John, it was a mistake, let's get on with it, come on, you know, uh, start again, let's start again, you know, it's a bit more softer, guys, yeah, 
So if you can think of ways, like you know, to to do that in a in a game situation, you know, what was it? It'll help, you know. In other scenarios as well, guys, as I say, where you know, as you get a bit more advanced, and you say, you know, hold the line, hold the line, which means like hold the eighteen, which means I want my defence in a straight line on the eighteen yards box. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line, and and the I don't know, my centre back might drop five yards, play someone in, you know, and then uh, plays it forward in, and they score again. I'd be saying to my defender, John. I told you to hold the line, mate. Ah, look, okay, look, don't worry about it. Look, don't worry, forget it. Come on, make sure we do it the next time. Again, mums and dads listening, and the, and the manager would be like, yeah, actually, Ray did say hold the line. So it was the centre back's fault, you know. So obviously, you know, if you play semi pro and professional guys, you've got to be like, hey, John, what are you doing? I told you to hold the line. Are you going to listen? Because if you don't, as I said to you guys, they will pass the book on to you. And I know many parents and goalkeepers watching this will go, boy, oh boy, yeah, you know, that has happens all, all the time. The problem is, guys, if you're too if you're too quiet as a goalkeeper, your defence, you know, nobody likes to, you know, to get, you know, to get the finger pointed at them. I don't. Nobody does. Yeah. Okay. So a defender, guys, if they can pass the book on to you because you're quiet, or hold the hand up, what are most of them going to do? Exactly, they're going to blame you guys, okay? So you can't afford to be quiet, guys, okay? You can't afford not to be scared to blame people, yeah? As I say, as a youngster, just be a bit relaxed about it. But certainly, guys, if you're going to be putting in the shop window, if you're playing for your representatives, you know, you're playing for your local FAs, you know, your, your, your county, your, your, you know, you're looking to go on trials at professional football clubs, you're at semi professional clubs. Guys, if you're quiet as a keeper, Forget it, you might as well quit now, okay, because you're going to get bullied by your defence, okay, yeah, and as I say, I'm not saying bully them, okay, all I'm saying to you, you've got to stand up for yourself, don't be afraid to blame, okay, yeah, okay, otherwise they will blame you, okay, so hopefully this quick tip has helped, uh, what was it, uh, be confident in yourself, remember to put into practice, managers, if you're watching this and parents, you need to teach the younger ones how to do this as well, also hopefully managers are watching this as well, and hopefully managers will, will, will obviously protect the goalkeepers as well, because as I say, you know, if you if you get onto the uh, onto the back of your goalkeeper too much, you are going to destroy the confidence. Yeah, remember, goalkeeping is a confidence position. Yeah, so hopefully managers will look at this and go, okay, well maybe you know I'm allowing my because the managers do allow the defence to have a goal to keepers, but the greatest respect to with the greatest respect to a lot of managers, the reason why they let the defenders have a goal to keepers is because sometimes they're not really sure where the goals come from. So as a manager, it's easy to go, eh, it's the keeper's fault. Rather than say, well, actually, you know what? It was maybe the way I lined up my 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 team. That's what cost the goal. So, because a lot of managers don't realise that, with the greatest respect, it is too easy for you guys to go. It was the keeper's fault. You've got to stop doing that, okay? Because, as I say, I've seen too many kids destroyed over the years, okay? Because they've been getting blamed for goals that are not their fault, okay? So, managers, please be stronger, okay? Remember, if a J4K coach sees you, we'll give you the slap. Uh, what was it? Uh, so you need to stick up for your keepers because keepers, good keepers now are very few and far between. So if you've got one, make sure you look after them. Okay, hope this tip helps. Remember, you've got to practice it. This is Ray Newland wishing you the best of luck with your goalkeeping guys.